Greetings YouTube! Uh, I have a quick resin update. Some pieces that I have made um, while I was getting ready to for the My Little Pony Fair. Um, just, you know, as I was making pieces for that, if I had leftover resin and things, I worked on some other little bits and pieces. So, um, let me just show you some of the things that I've made recently. So I have this really cute um, magnet. This is Rilakkuma meets Honey. Uh, I had mixed this really pretty yellow that's got about five different kinds of glitter in it. Um, and so then I thought that the sticker just went really well with it. So there's that one. I also made this sentimental circus. Um, this nice star. I have this random guitar. It came out kind of ugly. I sort of failed with the doming on this one. And, meh. and I have this bunny rabbit. I like this mold. I'm just, I don't really know what to do with the pieces when I'm done with them, but I had a lot of this really, it's hard to see. It's a really dark blue with bits of purple and other chunky glitters. Um, that was a solid mix. I have quite a lot of that left. wasn't sure what to do with it, so I made some bunnies. And then uh, this is another one that was using that blue, and it's just got a little hedgehog on it. Um, and I posted this in one of the hedgehog groups that I'm in, just as a like, hey, look at this cute thing I made. And a bunch of people started asking me if it was for sale and if I had any other hedgehog pieces. So I... Um, I only had a few of these stickers left, but I went ahead and used them and made some more hedgehog pieces. So this one was cute, it's just got green glitter, nothing fancy. This one, I really like this sticker holding this cute little mushroom, and it's got kind of a corally reddish pink background, so I thought that was cute. And then this one, it's got a hedgehog sitting on a mushroom with this really pretty teal um, in the ornate frame. Uh, so those hedgehog pieces are going to go probably in one of my uh, hedgehog Facebook groups. I'll post those there and hopefully people want them. And then I have a couple of Alice in Wonderland pieces. So I have this one, um, this pink doesn't really pick up on here. It's a pretty bright pink um, with a white background and the really cute Alice with her flamingo. Uh, this one, when I poured the pink part of the frame, it over poured just a little bit, which made me a little bit crazy, but I think it still came out cute. Hi, cat. Can I come here? Nope, she's a little scared of the camera. Gypsy, come say hi. Good girl. Okay, you have to go away now. Come over here. Good girl. Now you can see her little paw print in my fabric. <laughs> anyway, here's another one. Um, this one's a really bright neon green with the white background. Um, and the white does have some sparkles in it. And I just used this pink Alice. Um, and I put a little couple of playing cards in there. There's my helper. <laughs> Alrighty, and then I have things, um, pieces that I have left from the My Little Pony Fair. These are ones that I were not in my last video and also did not sell. I had quite a few other ones that I never got a chance to do a video of, but they sold, so, um, anyway, here's my leftovers. She just really wants to help. Hi, Tipsy. Yeah, I know, you're so helpful. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Okay, you have to go away. Here, go over here. Go over there. <laughs> anyway, uh, so here's this Princess Celestia piece. It's got a lot of different, um, it's got stars and other kind of chunky bits floating in the back to look kind of like a sky. Um, and it's this purple gradient. And it's just a magnet. I thought this one was really pretty, and I'm surprised that no one bought it. And if no one wants it, I'm keeping it, because it's it's just nice. It doesn't show up great in here, because purple never shows up very well on the camera. But it's really cute. And then I have this 
everything stuck to each other. No, let go. <laughs> I have this Fluttershy Cutie Mark magnet. Um, I did a series of these uh, using these temporary tattoos that I sealed in tape and then put in the resin. But then what happened was that uh, because the tattoos were so uh, translucent, the images all became really see-through once the resin was in there. Um, so I ended up hand painting over it and then doming on top of that. But then what happened was because the paint wasn't completely smooth, it got a couple of air bubbles. Um, and it showed up more on this one than any of the others, which is kind of a, a bummer. Um, but the other Cutie Mark ones all sold. This is the only one that was left. Um, I think it's really cute, though. And then I have some more G1 necklaces. These are all still on the cards because I just brought them straight <laughs> home. Um, Ooh. Okay, so there's Thundercloud. He's one of the G1 Mountain Boys, and he's just on a really shiny gold background. And then, oh, here it is. Here's actually G4 Applejack. These are going to be really hard to see. Um, so there's Applejack, just on a pretty teal. They show up so much better in my hand. <laughs> Um, and again, this is kind of the sort of bottle cap size mold. And then here is a G1 Firefly on a pretty blue. And G1 Sundance again on kind of a purplish periwinkle blue background and then oh, come on there we go this one is a G1 pony pinwheel and then I have G1 trickles so those are the only pieces that were new that didn't sell, so um, I'll be throwing some stuff up on Etsy. And then um, while I was getting ready for the Pony Fair, I made a Deco Den giant My Little Pony that actually sold, so I don't have pictures of it, but because I had my Whipple open, I had to use the Whipple that was left, so I just have a couple of little Deco pieces. Um, here's a macaron, it's just got kind of rainbow colored. Sprinkles. It's not food, Gypsy. It's not food. And then I have, yes, I know. Come over here. This um, heart macaron. I put a little bow on there um, and just made it into a keychain. Here's another one. This one's purple. Again, it's just got the cream on the inside, a little dollop with a purple bow. Um, and then I did this. It's just a little glass jar. Um, just really simple. I really liked this Cabotron, so I just kind of kept it basic and just put a couple little pearl sprinkles on there. You have this. I used one of the tart bases, um, just a few pieces of fruit, and just a couple of little pearl and rhinestone accents. And again, that one's a keychain. And then I did this one. It's a little more. Hi. You really do need to stay out of the way. Come here. It's not food. It's not food. You're ruining my video. <laughs> this one had a little more stuff on it. Um, it's actually a... I can never open it. It's actually a... Oh, look, there's me. We don't want to see that. A mirror compact. Um, so I just put some chocolate drizzle as much as I could without affecting the functionality and strawberries and all sorts of yummy things. So I'll probably keep this one. And then, last but not least, this is probably a thing that is going to hopefully make some people excited. Um, oops, sorry. 
So this is a piece that I made ages ago. And it's an Ursula necklace that's domed in here and it's got a purple background and it's really pretty and I get so many comments asking if this is for sale or if I can make another one um, and it just is something that's been really highly demanded so I finally tracked down another one of the Ursula squinkies and so I made another one um, backgrounds a little bit different but again, it's this really high dome. It's really nicely glazed. Um, this one's a little bit better than the other one. I don't feel like it has as many air bubbles. So there's Ursula. So I will get this one up on my Etsy shop soon. Hooray. Anyway, that's everything that I have right now. Now that I am back from my pony fair, I'm going to take a little bit of time off. Phew, it was a mad dash getting everything made for that, let me tell you. Um, but then hopefully I'll get back to crafting. Today I have to build some furniture. Um, and my apartment finally is starting to look like someone lives here. Crazy. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Gypsy says thank you as well. She really enjoyed helping out with my video this time. I will see you guys soon. Bye.